With the current AI advancements, AI coding tools are blowing up everywhere. I'm gonna share with you the tool that I'm personally using for my own products and my own website. It has great integrations and built-in hosting, so you don't have to work with a third-party hosting service. I'll show you everything you need to know to go from an idea to a full-stack web app, including SEO metadata and other integrations like email service and database. Hi, my name is Jad. On this channel, I bring you the best ways to implement AI for building products. And for this video, I partnered with Hostinger to show you their latest solution for building full-stack web apps. It's called Hostinger Horizons. It's an AI-powered coding tool for building custom web apps. It's really easy to use. You don't need technical skills here. I'll show you exactly how I built my website. Much, much easier than using a website builder. It's more flexible. That means you get a completely custom website or a web app without any restrictions for the UI or functionality. Just describe what you want in natural language and it will create it from scratch. Let's start with my new community website first. Then we'll get into developing a more complex web app for organizing links and notes and images. Let's dive in. So first of all, to create an account, make sure you use my coupon code for a discount. Click on the link in the description to go to the Hostinger Horizons website, then scroll down to see all the plans and select the one that you want. Their pricing is very clear. You know exactly what you're getting with each plan. You can get the lowest plan for $14.99, which will give you 50 messages per month, which is good enough for occasional use. But the recommended plan is the $19.99 per month, which will give you 100 messages per month. And that would be more than enough to build a small web app. You can also go for the higher plans if you have a more complex project. And all the plans include all of these features listed below. And here you can enter my coupon code AI Tooltip to get 10% off your first month. Okay, so now for my website, I started with my requirements. I entered landing page for my community, then I gave it the content that I have for my website. And at the end, I gave it the styling details that I want with specific colors and theme and styling preferences. You don't have to enter this much details here. You can just start with an idea and it will generate everything for you. So I entered this prompt and it gave me a great first draft for my website. So then I proceeded to make small changes and add photos. All you have to do is attach a photo and tell it where you want this to be displayed. It will do everything on its own and very accurately. I kept adding photos and modifying details it's really cool to be able to edit a natural language. Here I said make the cards the same height. Then I said add a contact form. Then I added the social links. Then I simply gave it the links to assign to each button. You can move things around just by describing what you want. Here I added a section by describing the layout, text on the left, and video from YouTube on the right. And it created an embedded video in a beautiful way. I added an animated glowing effect to the hero text at the top. Then I added my logo. Now I want to make the contact form functional. I said I want the contact form to send my submissions to this email. And it explained to me exactly what to do to make it work. So I followed the exact steps. I created a free account with email.js and came back with my ID numbers and my public key, just as it told me to do. Then I gave it the variables from my email template that I created in email.js. Then I added a success message when someone submits a form. And now I have a working contact form. Then I fixed some more elements and fixed the mobile view. Then I published the website to test it. And now for SEO, you can go to OpenGraph to see all of your SEO metadata for your website. And here I simply asked it to generate the SEO data and I added a preview image to be displayed when sharing the website. And then it went on to generate all of the SEO data that I need. Everything was implemented perfectly. And now all I have to do is publish the website and pick my free domain name. You get one free domain name with your account for a whole year and it will set everything up in the background. You can check out my final website. The link is in the description. Now let's create a more complicated web app. Let's say I want to create a platform for organizing links, notes, and images. It's something that I've always wanted to do. There's so many apps out there for this, but I want to create my own so that I can control the functionality exactly like I want it. I'll just enter the prompt and let's see what I get to start with. Now I will change a few things to improve the usability and the UI. I want to see everything in one page, so I asked for that. And there we go, it understands exactly what I'm asking for. 
I don't want the input fields to be always visible to reduce clutter. So I said create one add button and then I would select the content type. There we go, now we have the content type selection to be a quick selection dropdown and that's perfect. Let's test it with links and images. I noticed it's not grabbing the images properly. So I'll just say that and see if it can fix it. Now adding images is not working. I'll prompt to fix it again. Seems like something is still broken. Let's see if it can figure it out. It's still not working. Maybe it will get fixed when I add a database. So let's jump into adding a database. Click on the Superbase button at the top and here just follow the steps to create an account or create a project if you already have a Superbase account. Here I created a new project. I'll wait for it to finish setting up. Then back in Horizons, I'll click refresh to find my new project. And there we go. I'll just click connect and it will do everything in the background. It's setting up all of the tables for my database. Now let's test it again. The image link is still not working. Let's troubleshoot it. Let's check the database. It created the proper tables here. I can see that there is a note and a link, but no image added. Let's try to fix it again. There we go, now it's working. I can get any image and add it here, perfect. Let's fix the layout a bit. I don't want this scrolling area. I want to see everything displayed on the page without this little scrolling window. And here in the links section, I want to see a link preview instead of the full link, also to reduce clutter and make it look better. There we go, perfect. Now I want to be able to pin items to the top to be able to organize my items a little better. And there we go, it added the pin, but it's not working properly. Let's fix that. There we go, we can now pin to the top. But when I unpin an item, it should return to its original position. So let's just fix that as well. And I'll also add sorting options so that I can see my recent notes or my oldest notes. And there we go, perfect. Now unpinning works and sorting works perfectly by keeping the pinned items at the top. Okay, everything works. Now let's check out the mobile view. That's not good. Let's try to fix the mobile view and see if it can figure out what to fix on its own. Nice, it did that perfectly. Let's test the app again. Oh, I just realized we need to be able to delete items. So let's add that functionality. Perfect. Now we have a delete button for each item. Let's hide that delete button behind a menu because I don't want it to be visible at all times. And I want to be able to confirm before deleting an item. So let's try that. Perfect, all working as expected. Let's see if we can change the functionality on mobile only to swipe left to show the delete option. This way we can save space on smaller screens.
Okay, it's not working properly, let's try to fix that. The delete button keeps disappearing, I'm gonna try again to fix it. There we go, everything works now, on mobile and on desktop. Now the great thing about Hostinger Horizons is that it is integrated with Hostinger, that means you can deploy the app seamlessly to your Hostinger server. All you have to do is click publish and then pick a free domain name and it will set everything up in the background. You can also add user authentication if you want users to be able to create an account and it will implement that in your SUPA-based database automatically. Now to be able to test this app properly, go to your SUPA-based account in the authentication tab, click sign in up and then click on email and here you need to disable the confirm email then click save. Because if you don't have an email service yet, this will allow you to sign up without clicking the confirm email in your inbox. Now let's prompt to create the login pages and the profile page. And now we have a login and sign up page. Let's try to sign up. Now I'll go check my database to see if it added a new user. And it worked perfectly. Here's my account in the authentication table of my database. Now let's test the app again. Okay, I need a close button for the profile page. I'll just ask for it. And there we go, we have a complete flow now. Publish it on your own domain and you're good to start testing it with real people. Let me know if you have any questions, I'll answer everything down in the comments. And also check out my community if you want to be a part of the latest AI advancements in UI UX and building products. I also have some courses in there for using AI in your professional workflow and a complete prompt library for the whole product design process. See you in the next video. Cheers. Cheers.